Welcome to SQL Learning. Today we will talk about how to identify the number which is coming three times conjugatively. We have to identify that particular number. So this is my table. In this table, I have two columns. One is ID column and the second column is number column. If you see this example, in this table, one is repeated three times conjugatively, right? So we have to populate that particular number. So for that, I used one approach. I used the lead function to populate the next value and the next next value. Basically, lead function is a window function which is used to populate next values from the same column based on the parameter value. For example, if I want next immediate value in the parameter, I have to populate one because you want next immediate value, right? If you want next next value means the second value, then you have to use the two. So the approach what what I am using is this is your table ID and number. So if I use lead on top of number column and I want next immediate number. So this is the current row for this current row. The next immediate number is one. So we populated one. Okay, if you take third record, this is the third record. The current record is one and the next immediate record is two. So we populated two. Same way, if we give the parameter value as two, it is next next value. For example, if you take third record, the current value is one. The next next record is three. So we populated three. If you take three, the next next value is four. We populated four. So this is the approach I followed. Let's go to the SQL Server. So what I did here, if I run this query. I use the lead window function since it is a window function. I used over class also. I perform this lead operation on top of number column and I need the next immediate number for that. I used one here. So the name of the column is next value for the next next value in the lead function. I use the same column, but the parameter I change it to two because I want a next next value and uh, I did the over on top of order id column okay i perform order on top of id column so the name of the column is next next value so if i run this particular query you will see this particular output we populated current record the next record and also the next next record three conjugative numbers so i am using the cte to check this particular condition the current row equals to next value and the current row equals to next next value if both are equal means all the three values are equal then I will populate that particular number. So we are populating that number the number which is repeating three times conjugatively for that I used the lead of lead function lead function is nothing but it is a window function basically which is used to populate the next subsequent row or next immediate row based on the parameter if you want next immediate value then you can populate one. If you want next next number, then you can populate two by using this. I'm populating the next value and next next value, and I'm comparing the current record, the next record, and the next next value. These three things I'm comparing. If both it means uh, these two things are equal, and the first and third are equal, means indirectly three values are equal, then I am populating that current number, this particular number. Okay, we are populating that particular number. The only complexity here is which function we are using means for the current record. Anyway, we are using the number column, but the next number how we are populating is important. The next number and populating by using lead function. If you understand what is lead function, then you can achieve this requirement easily. Thank you for watching this video.